viewers and welcome back again to learn with your brains as i show you in the previous tutorial i just uh, we went just went through the topics of what we're going to study throughout this course and today i'm going to show you the first topic we're going to create which is introduction to s64 dbg and detect it easy so we're just going to learn about the introduction that's i'm going to show you how to go through the website to find this and also how to download it based on your operating system and for this course is basically you're going to use um, windows 7 windows 8 windows any windows version you have that is what we are going to deal with it's not available for um, mac os and it's a linux system that is the s64 dbg it was purposely made for windows because windows operating system is a widely used operating system so i think the programmers solely made it for um windows but for detective easy you can find it on mac you can also find it on uh Leno systems so without wasting my time let me show you how to go about this because this is the introduction to a64 dbg and detect it is this is the two powerful softwares we are going to use throughout this process or uh, these tutorials to learn how to deassemble or reverse engineer some of these um, softwares we are going to use in these courses how to reverse engineer it to crack the pass pass the syria the key gene and a whole lot of stuff so without wasting my time let me show you how to go about it so let me minimize this window and the first thing is to open a browser and what you're going to do is to search for x64 dbg you could see i've already searched right here so it's already uh trying to suggest it for me that oh man you've already searched for his word before in google because google used the crawlers to crawl or try to suggest a whole lot of words for you okay can we just uh, search on this and you could see this is the first link all you need to do is to click here to send you to the main website and the website looks quite pretty okay so as you could see a 64 dbg an open source 64 debugger for windows as i told you it's mainly for windows if it was for mac those state with for linux those state but this they say is for only windows so you need to get the windows operating system so that you could be able to do all this uh, process all this learning we are going to do all together so the first thing is to click on download okay so as i told you it's an open source you can also check for the blog but that is not important to us so all we need to do is to click on download to send us to a new page just wait i think my internet is quite slow today let's see what happened perfect so when you come to this page you send us to sourceforge.net where it would all is what uh previous uh I need to accept this so I do no let me accept okay to get the best performance of the web site so what we're going to do now is no thank you what we're going to do now is uh, you could see it's a download the latest version or get update we don't need this all we need to do is to go down you see we have previous versions of all these x64 dbj right here so it's labeled as snapshot so it's trying to keep all the snapshot from its previous version so you can scroll down to see where it all started from the version it started from now let's go down and let's see where it all came from it started somewhere version i think it's too large so let's go to what we want for this tutorial over this course can download any of these versions to work with but in this tutorial we are going to play along uh, now let me check you see when they go down it has a whole lot you know they've been always updating this uh, software and uh, kudos to all the programmers who are 
um, behind all this you could see it has what over 13.4 GB of size when you have to download all these um, uh, previous uh, uh, application or they made okay that is starting from version let's say version 1 to version 20 or some other versions but what we are interested is the latest one which is which was released somewhere 13 of 4th 2021 oh, just recently it's like two days they did the update so they updated the versions they already have to 13 so just click on download and you click on download to start i think to start downloading straight away or to send it to an okay you say your download will start shortly so we wait for five seconds for it to start to download okay it's as simple as that and perfect i think it will start downloading right here perfect it started to download but i don't need it because of already download so i need to cancel this perfect now since you've already downloaded this just wait in our topic we said we just introduce you into the s64 dbg and detect easy so the second software we need to download is detect it is just right detect it is it's going to pop up on the google um, search engine so you just click on the perfect this first link is what we need so you can see it's hosted on forsake.github.io just click on this now the programmer says you can donate to bitcoin or paper to help him make some other program so it depends on you when you see this it's a good project they've already built you can donate to the owner of this application or the group of programmers who came up with this uh, application kudos to them they've done well so this is the latest version interface this is how it looks like i will show you all these um some uh ones we're going to use throughout this course the importance the meaning of the detect it easy what it entails and how to work around with detect easy without the x64 dbg and that will come out with when you are setting up the environment and the workflow i'm going to show you all this but because it's introduction i'm showing you how to download all these applications so that you'll be able to work together so uh all you need to do is see they have a lot of application they've uh, made from the ntf info or the, this website they have the detectives they have sub detector for for the calculator nurse for detector a whole lot of programs right here you can just read through the article to know what each and everyone does so what we need is or you can click on more info to know about the application so what we need is what the detective hs abbreviated like that a program for determining the type of files that's why i said this is very important because any software you need to crack or to do something about you need to know more about the files which the programmer used to build all this whether he used a visual studio whether he used a python and they use uh, a whole lot of programming languages you need to know about that so it's detect it easy and that is a program for determining the type of files in which uh, the programmer used to build this application so that's why uh, it's so a core a core point of core important program for this tutorial of this lesson so all you need to do is just go here click on download it will send you to the download page which is what a github link so to bring you to uh github link and this is the name of uh, the person who made this program it's called the die engine and you could when you scroll down you could see all the version and the latest version is 3.10 and here the, i told you for sd64 dbg they made it for windows but for die they made it for what? linux okay 
so when you have my operating system or the stage operating system you can download it and install it through that way and if you have mac you can download the mac version and if you have windows you can but what is important here is we need a windows version so all you need to do is to check your windows version whether it's 32 bit or 64 then download the corresponding one for it okay so my uh windows 7 we are going to use for this tutorial is 32 so i'll just click on this to download it and perfect that started to download so i don't need it because i already downloaded it so i need to cancel this process so as i told you when you have mac you can download it for mac but the purpose of this course is to use windows so that you'll be able to follow along because we're doing a whole lot of cracking on the windows operating system you can have this for mac but because of the s for dbg which is a, a the assembler application for uh, reviewing all what the programmer has done throughout his code they don't have it for mac as of now so what we are oh, going to do is to download our uh, windows version with the di so that we'll be able to work with it in uh, uh in the windows version without x64 db so that things will be so easier for us but you can still download uh, this for mac for maybe for uh, future reference so that you can just use it to detect what uh, the application was made of or the software was made of that one is cool but if you want to do the cracking you just need the windows version so that to work in hand with a64 dbg so this is probably the introduction how to download this and in the next uh, episode or the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up all this you install it set up all this and i'll show you all what this uh, s64 dbg and die what it goes through just the interface i'll show you how each and every one works together with each so that we'll be able to know the environment so that in the next and the upcoming tutorial when we go into the application you know uh, the purpose of each column each uh, tab each uh, each preferences and a whole lot so just stay tuned subscribe to the channel and this brings us to the end of the introduction to x64 dbg and die for the day so stay tuned take care and see you in our next tutorial where we'll be talking about setting up your cracking workspace and your workflow that is why i'm going to show you how to install these two applications so that you go through uh, as i told you is interfaces to show you everything you need to know about the software before we dip into debugging the steps basics how, how you know some basics of the application interface and that before we go into the top top level uh, uh the top level functions within the software or the application so we will be doing this course breakpoint reverse jams and you you will start doing some cool stuff with how to patch a program so it will be so interesting and so fun throughout this course so just stay tuned get some coffee so that uh, anytime you get some energy to sit along and i will appreciate it when you subscribe and share these videos that people also join the community so we all learn together because it's all about learning with your brains so use your brains and then a whole lot of stuff don't use your brain just for um, smoking and other stuff just use it to learn to build up on your, your technology stuff and, uh, this world okay so take care and see you in our next tutorial as we dig into setting up our cracking workspace and our workflow goodbye